Ahoy there shipmates, my name is Brian and welcome to another lesson brought to you by the 5 Minute Mariner and in this lesson we'll be covering conversion of arc to time calculations. To begin we will start with the basics of longitude and time. If we start from the assumption that the Earth is a perfect sphere and we look down upon it from the North Pole, we can see that the equator of the Earth is a circle and hence the degree value of it is 360 degrees. Now, if we imagine that the Sun goes around the Earth in 24 hours, we can say that one full rotation of the equator, i.e. 360 degrees, happens in 24 hours. This is the underlying theory behind longitude and time, and means that we can subdivide 360 degrees to give us smaller values. For example, we can say that it would travel 180 degrees in 12 hours, 90 degrees in 6 hours, all the way down until we can say that the Sun will move 15 degrees of longitude in 1 hour. If required, we can further subdivide these times by saying that 1 degree is 4 minutes, all the way down to a quarter of a degree, or 15 minutes of longitude, is equal to 1 minute of time. When applying arc to time in order to calculate the exact time of Greenwich Mean Time, if our longitude is to the east, we would subtract arc to time from local mean time in order to obtain Greenwich Mean Time. If our longitude is west, we would add. Although longitude can be converted to time to the nearest second, this is not required and the convention says that all values of arc to time should be rounded to the nearest minute. If any seconds are present, if 30 seconds or more, it should be rounded up to the nearest minute, and if less than 30 seconds, it should be rounded down. There are other ways to calculate arc to time other than through calculation. Norris tables contain tabular data for all degrees and minutes of longitude, and these can be directly converted to hours, minutes, and even seconds of time. Here is an example question to allow us to practice the new theory that we have just learned. To calculate arc to time using calculation, we must divide our longitude by 15. If we begin with the degree value, this would be 137 degrees divided by 15, which would give us 9.13 hours, which if we convert to hours and minutes, gives us 9 hours and 8 minutes. For the 22.8 minutes of longitude, when this is divided by 15, this gives us 1.52 minutes, which, if we use our rounding as we learned earlier, gives us 2 minutes. In order to find the total arc to time, we would add both the degree value and the minute value together to give a total of 9 hours and 10 minutes. If we want to calculate arc to time using Norris tables, we can see that from the extracts, a value of 137 degrees gives us a time value of 9 hours and 8 minutes exactly. If we look at minutes of longitude, there is no value of 22.8 minutes, and hence we need to interpolate between 22 and 23 minutes of longitude, which in this case gives us 1 minute and 31 seconds. Taking into account our rules of rounding, this gives us a total value of 9 hours and 10 minutes the same as when we used our calculators. To calculate the final value of Greenwich Mean Time, we need to apply our arc to time to our local mean time. As our longitude was west, we are behind GMT, and hence would add arc to time to local mean time in order to find the true value of Greenwich Mean Time, which in this case would be 1727 or 527 p.m. on the same day as local mean time. Here are some practice questions for you to try at home. Please pause the video and the answers will be shown in 10 seconds. And here are the correct answers with both the arc to time and values of Greenwich Mean Time both given. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content.